Before Afters, I was working as a production assistant in advertising, um, making television commercials. And I was kind of getting the sense that maybe it wasn't the right place for me. Um, I've always loved drawing, I did a little bit of storyboarding on the side, and I thought maybe animation was a better path for me. In my kindergarten yearbook, it says I want to be an animator when I grow up, but I just didn't think that I was talented enough at animation, so I didn't even think to apply for a master's of animation. I actually applied for directing, but because I'd dabbled a little bit in it before, the head of animation, Krista Jordan, contacted me and said, have you considered doing your masters? I think the thing about afters is it has a really long tradition of being a film school and having um, great filmmakers come through. I think that also sets it apart as an animation degree because it comes from that full tradition of cinema, whereas I think sometimes animation degrees kind of approach it from more of a graphic design perspective and not really looking at animation as a form of storytelling as a whole. There are so many different ways you can approach it. You can look at it from a directing perspective. You can seek out as much technical help as you need in whatever direction you might want to go into. So they sort of tailor the course for your needs. I know I was starting a little bit behind the ball on the technical side of things and I wasn't going in with super high hopes that I'd be the master animator or, you know, compositor or whatever it is. But there's a good degree of latitude for you to bring yourself to the project, especially in the masters. I think a lot of it is about um, developing what kind of creative you are. All of the learning is there available to us, but I think because it's a master's course, it's a lot of self-directed learning and sort of driving the course to where you want to take it. That's been really good actually, because I've been more used to having coursework put in front of me, but this is sort of the mid ground between studying and going out and self-directing your own stuff. In terms of collaborating with the rest of the cohort then, because I had that live action background, it meant that I could still work on some of those projects and not lose that connection, because I never felt like I was doing animation so I could leave live action behind. We did a collaboration with the cinematographers um, and we shot some live action plates which we then integrated our 3D animated characters into, which was really fantastic because you don't normally get that experience at an animation degree. But also for the cinematographers then to get a better understanding of how VFX works because you know increasingly that's how production is moving at the moment. There are so many amazing people to collaborate with, especially with sound and music in animation, that's so important. Um, we've also collaborated with screenwriters. Um, we had to do storyboarding and animatics for a short scene that a screenwriter had written and then collaborated with sound and music to make this short animatic really come alive. And I've been working on my um, capstone project and collaborating with screenwriters, sound, music. We've spoken with editors, producers, all these different people who are really invested in helping our pieces come to life. You can literally feel your brain growing because it's just under so much chat and just like picking up all these different concepts. But I think it also kind of makes you very resilient because you're used to being under that kind of pressure. I think a lot of it is actually um, kind of people management. Uh, because you are at a school where you have so many people that are talented in their particular areas of specialization, the challenge is then bringing everyone together to make your project run smoothly which I think is a good problem to have because those are the skills that are going to be most important when you get to more advanced levels of your career. I guess being adaptable um, to change because the industry is so fluid and ever-changing. So I think that's probably a big skill. Yeah, and Krista says that all the time as well, actually. Don't be too comfortable or be comfortable with being uncomfortable because there's, there's just, it's, there's so much to learn. Krista's fantastic. As soon as she came on board, she was very hands-on. You know, we had her phone number and we could text her whenever we needed something and she was always happy to catch up for a coffee and talk things through. You think that a head of department is just there to answer your technical questions, but there were many times I would just send her a text and say, hey, do you have time today? And then I'd tell her, you know, this is what's happening on the project. This person's not happy. This person wants this. And she would talk me through on how to have those conversations and what best practice is for managing those conversations as well. Alex is our animation lecturer and he is 
really talented at what he does. He's really smart and really driven and he's from a VFX background. He's so helpful that I was messaging him just before and, and typing to him and he like had every answer to the question straight away. I didn't need to give him much context. Matt Camporo is the Screen Studies lecturer. I really liked learning from him. He's so smart. Um, yeah, all of the teachers we've had, I've found really inspiring. I mean, I thought I didn't have enough experience. Um, I had maybe one or two animation projects, which I didn't really even animate on my portfolio. But I guess I showed that I was really dedicated towards working towards a career in animation and I had a host of other skills that could be roped in. It helps if you have a clear idea of where you want to go because um, everyone at Afters will work towards helping you get there. I had stories I wanted to tell and I'd been trying to do that in different mediums like writing and I've done a bit of radio stuff and a little bit of DIY film stuff and that it all was able to come through and now I'm trying to fit it into the animation medium. I feel just so much more aligned with what I want to be doing in this world and I feel happy and I feel calmer and it just feels so good to be doing what I want to be doing and to finally be here in a place that really facilitates that.